Hello everyone, happy to see you here, welcome back to my channel Hi Mathematics and this is the trickiest question I've ever seen because a lot of students fail to solve this question on their exam, this is a very tricky challenge and of course many students get confused about the answer to this challenge. So one part of students say that the correct answer is A, we just take the root of this 4 all the time, another part of students take the uh, squares of this 4 and 4 right here, so this is a really interesting moment and of course I will solve this question here in just 30 seconds so we can easily check our answer answers in the end of the video, it will be really interesting. So right now pause the video and try to solve it by yourself, it will be really interesting and maybe I give 99% that you solve this question absolutely wrong. Okay, first of all we should know about square root, we should know a little bit information about square root. For example, we have a square root of 5, okay? square root of 5. We can write this square in a different way, we can write this square as a fraction, so we can write this square as 5 to the power 1 over over 2, yeah, we don't write it right here, we have 1, we don't write it always, and right here we have 2, we prefer that this is square root, yeah, so we can write, easily write it as 5 to the power 1 half, okay, another example, let's write, for example, right here we have cubes root, cubes root of 9, okay, so we can easily write it as 9 to the power, right here 1, right here 3, so all the time, this power of this, uh, of this root, goes to our denominator, yeah, so right here is 3 and it goes to our denominator. Okay, one small example, for example, uh, let's go with 11, with fifth root of 11, we can write it as as 11 to the power 1 over 1 over fifth, yeah, 1 over 5. And maybe the last example, let's look at it, for example, 13 square raised to the uh, cube's root of 13 square, we can write it as 13 to the power 2 as in our numerator, and we divide it by 3 in our in our denominator, okay? So 2 times 3. And this is a very interesting moment. I want you to look at this at this uh, at this logic. Take a look closely. This 2, so the power of our root all the time divide the power of our value. So 1 divided by the power of square root. Right here, 3 goes to our denominator right here. Right here, 5 divided uh, our 1 by with, with the power of this 11. Yes, yeah? so divide all the time. By this, by this one. Right here, 3 divides this 2, which is the power of this 13. So all the time, the power of our root divides the, the power of this value inside the parentheses. Okay, this is the main logic right here. And if you understand this logic, let's, let's solve our challenge. So take a look closely. Then, 4 to the power 4 to the power 4. It has the power 2, so this is square root. And then, using this logic, this 2 divides the power of our expression inside, inside parentheses. In our case, this is our base, and we should divide 4 to the power 4, we should divide by 2. So this is equal to, we have 4 to the power 4 to the power 4, and we should divide it by this power of this square root, divided by, by 2. Okay, let's simplify this, it's not that hard, we have 4 to the power 4, 4, 4, 4, so 2, 4, uh, 4 times we have 4, 4 times 4 times 4 times 4, and we divide it by, by 2, okay? We can easily cancel this 4 and this 2 right here, so we will have like 4 to the power, there here we have 2, so 2 times, and right here we still have 3 times this 4, so times 4, 4 cube. Okay, let's write this 4 as uh, 2 square, so as a result we have 4 to the power 2 times 2 uh, square to the power to the power 3, which is equal to 4 to the power 2 times 2 square to the power 3, we can easily multiply it, so this is equal to 2 to the power 6. And the last power rule that we really need, this is the rule, if we have the same basis, we can easily add our powers. Of course, with multiplication sign in the middle, we have 4 to the power 2 to the power 1 plus 6 equal to equal to 7 and our correct answer is 4 to the power 2 to the power 7. Really tricky question, many students go wrong, many students fail to solve this challenge, I hope your answer is the same as mine. I feel like a lot of students choose this option C, B and D which is really obvious for them because some students take square root from all these values, they have our option, option A, another part of students take this square root of this uh, 2 and 2 which is really bad and as you can see correct answer is 4 to the power 7, uh, 4 to the power 2 to the power 7. And of course, write your suggestion into the comment section. What do you think about this solution? Maybe you have a faster method. How can we solve this challenge? Really interesting to read about it. And of course, what do you think about this question? Is it easy question or maybe hard question for student? And in the same way, this is tricky question or not tricky question. It is it is really interesting to read about it. So uh, if this video is helpful in any way, don't forget to like and subscribe. And that definitely help me out for this particular video. So thank you for your time and have a great day.